Hey guys, and welcome back for today's video talking about the early game here over in the American League between the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Going to give our lean on where we see the better value on the money line with the home team Toronto coming in as slight favorites at about minus 125. Now the Texas Rangers, a better record, clearly in contrast to what we've seen from the Blue Jays this year, just one game below 500 at 59 and 60 in contrast to Toronto, who's 21 games below 500 at 51 and 72. But thus far in this series, the Blue Jays have been much more impressive, especially if we're just taking what both of these teams have done over the past few weeks. Definitely things have been trending in a more positive direction for the Blue Jays, while the Rangers, they've lost these two games to open up this series by finals of 4-19 to and 0-3. to So getting outscored in the series thus far, four runs to 22. And before that, they lost two out of three against the Milwaukee Brewers, as well as two out of three to the Cleveland Indians. So the Rangers have not been getting the job done quite as consistently here over the past couple of weeks or the past few series that they've been in. Now today, Texas, they are going to be sending out 21-year-old lefty Colby Allard, who's an acquisition they made at the trade deadline, sending out one of their relief pitchers in bringing in one of the starting pitching prospects over from the Atlanta Braves. Now, Allard used to be a highly rated prospect over with Atlanta, former first round pick, but he didn't have success when he was called up to the majors and he's just kind of been middling in triple A. So not necessarily still one of those upper tier prospects for the Braves. He kind of take a couple of steps back and that's why Atlanta was willing to part with him in exchange for a relief pitcher. Now, Allard, if he can ever get some more speed on his fastball as a lefty, he could still potentially maybe be a guy that could be effective as a fourth or fifth starter in a rotation, but where his fastball is currently standing, it's going to be tough for him, especially in the American League, especially pitching for a team like the Texas Rangers, pitching in what can be a hitter-friendly ballpark. Allard, in his opening start with the Rangers, he was fairly successful, I'd say. He didn't go very deep into the outing, but still was able to limit damage to some extent. He went four and a third innings on the road against the Milwaukee Brewers, giving up three hits, two earned runs, three walks, two seven strikeouts. But he's not a guy that's going to shut down an opposing offense, or at least that's not what we've seen from him up to this point in his professional career. But he's still really young, just at 21 years of age. And the Rangers are going with the trial by fire, by quickly calling him up and putting him into their starting pitching rotation on Toronto's side of things. They should have a ton of confidence coming into this one, given how they've looked in the first two games of this series. And this has been a positive trajectory uh, trajectory from the Blue Jays, where prior to this, they split a series with the Yankees. They also took a winning series on the road against the Tampa Bay Rays. So some positive stuff here from Toronto. Today, they are going to be sending out 23-year-old righty Sean Reed Foley, who has made five starts, seven total appearances, and he's been very effective sitting on a 2.36 ERA. In his last outing, he went five innings at home against the New York Yankees, giving up five hits, one earned run, two walks to five strikeouts, and what turned into an 8-2 to two victory for Toronto. In terms of the starting pitching match, you definitely like what you see a bit more from Toronto's starter than what the Rangers are potentially going to be getting here with Allard and with all of the momentum in this series, siding with the home team in Toronto with an earlier start time, which also could be a little bit easier for a team that plays in the Eastern time zone, as opposed to the Rangers who I believe play in the central time zone. So it's an even earlier start from them. Everything seems to be lining up where it's a pretty solid value bet, taking the home team, siding with Toronto on the money line at minus 125. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. Disagree, give it a thumbs down. You can check out all of our picks every day over at stumpthespread.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you guys back here for our next video.